Well, hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'd like to introduce to you a very special person who has a specialty that isn't very well known. He is a nutritional anthropologist, and his name is Jeff Bond. Now, as a physician, I did not learn much about nutrition in medical school which was uh, not a very good thing because when I came out and started practicing medicine, I really couldn't advise my patients appropriately what they should and more importantly, should not be eating uh, in terms of their health. So I had the good fortune of meeting Jeff Bond about 10 years ago in the year 2000. Uh, he was invited as a guest on a television show I was doing then called Healthy Living. And I have to tell you, some of the things he told me at that time, uh, I kind of raised my eyebrows at and had to go home and do some research and looking into. And I found out, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about. He has 40 years of experience uh, from the perspective as an anthropologist in researching human nutrition. And he actually lived with some tribes in Western Africa and observed their lifestyle and how they ate and how lifestyle and what we eat is all very intimately interrelated and is very critical to our health. So with great pleasure, I would like to introduce Jeff Bond. Hello there, guys. Good to see you today. Now, I lived many years in tropical Africa Back then, out in the bush, back in the 1960s, I got blood poisoning. Yeah. Now, had that happened just 20 years earlier, that could have killed me. But I just went along to the local field hospital, one big jab of penicillin in the backside. I don't like it very much. But I was fixed. It was the archetypal magic bullet. Today, we can fix just about everything that nature throws at us. So what is left? Well, what is left is not what nature does to us, but what we do to ourselves. They are the self-inflicted diseases. They're the cancers, the heart disease, the osteoporosis, the diabetes, the obesity, the Alzheimer's, and many, many more. They are diseases of lifestyle. And they're due to the mismatch between the lifestyle designed for us by our evolutionary heritage and the way we live today. 